I was up at about five o'clock in the morning, dawn, because I was just ready. I wasn't up like nervous or I couldn't sleep. I slept really well, but then I got up and I just wanted to be at Wembley, I just wanted to play. And I was thinking, well, what can I do? Nobody else is up, it's five o'clock. And we were, we were in the hotel right by the river and the mist was on the floor and it was at, you, know, you could see it was going to be a beautiful day. And I got my gear on and went jogging around the grounds of the hotel for about half an hour, an hour, just jogging, just get a bit of nervous energy out. And then by that time, Dave Phillips was up and we had breakfast and, uh, and then that was it, it was off there. And then, of course, by the time breakfast was over, the, the world's press were in on top of you and you can, see the, you can see the brilliant sunshine at the end of it. And then when you break from the end of that tunnel, it almost lifts you off your feet. I mean, the colour and the spectacle and the noise just carries you. You go from that tunnel to the halfway where you line up to meet the dignitaries, and I'm, I'm sure you don't even walk. I'm sure you just get carried there. Not at your best. If you, if you start slowly and poorly, it's very, very difficult to pick up and get yourselves going. And naturally, your manager says to you, you know, right from the off, let's see you get a few sprints in, get in there, close the ball down, do all the right things, don't expect the game just to happen, go and make it happen. And um, and whatever you do, don't don't let him score an early goal. The ball was kicked out from Ogden and it headed on and, and he's chested out and Keith Algin, I think, was the one who headed it on to me or knocked it out to me. And that's the first time I've seen him run 10 yards or 15 yards because he doesn't do that in training. Regis, Algin. Nick Pickering swears it was his goal in many ways because he shouted at Houchy, throw yourself, Houchy. I couldn't get there. I says, dive, Houchy, dive. And Houchy just took off. And he actually heard me saying this. But I mean, that was, it was a great goal by Keith. It was instinct he sent it forward. He's hurled himself through the air for the diving header. One of the great Wembley goals. It's a magnificent goal, magnificent cross, magnificent finish. You know, the power he got and the direction he got with that header, unbelievable. The euphoria of it, because I never reacted that euphoric to goals, really, if I looked through my career. Um, but that day, I was off and up and over the boards and jumping and jumping and jumping. It was just amazing. You know, if you're going to score great goals, do them on big occasions, eh? It's not the same. I've scored diving headers, you know, away at Rochdale on January nights, and nobody remembers them. But, you know, if you're going to score one, do it at, do it at Wembley in front of 100,000 people, eh?